what is a good bishop and a bad bishop in chess? So I got this position up right now and we're gonna talk about the bishop at d3 and the bishop at c8. The bishop at c8 is fighting against its own pawns. So that is one good principle. If you're at the end game, it's good to have your pawns on the opposite color of the, bis of the one bishop that you have. And if you look at white's bishop, the light square bishop, all of the important pawns are on dark squares. So that gives this bishop more diagonal space to attack black's pawns, and especially to have more space to do more strategic things. And this is called strategy in chess. And you should keep this in mind to trade your bad bishops with your opponent's good bishop and never trade your good bishop with your opponent's bad bishop.